Greetings, classmates. I will establish a coaching practice focused on the advancement and empowerment of women as they parent their school-aged children. In my daily work as a school counselor, too often I'm focused on family dysfunction and fail to recognize, acknowledge, or even celebrate the way families do succeed. Our families work hard to thrive and to stay alive. A few years ago, I had the opportunity to listen to the story of a mother whose son was struggling academically. It was a story like many others where parents have had to work a few jobs in order to make ends meet or they didn't complete high school and suffered the ramifications that come along with not having a high school diploma. But while listening to this parent speak on her life, I saw and heard the possibilities for her. And over the course of the school year, I was able to walk with her to, to her place of success. She currently works for an area nonprofit and acts as a liaison between the school and families. And it's through our ongoing conversation that she was able to reach where she wanted to be and to help others to do so as well. There's an old adage that says, when mama's happy, everybody's happy. Or the African proverb that says, when you educate a woman, you educate a nation or a generation. Our mama parents, graced with intuition, perseverance, courage, and a built-in strength, fulfill so many roles. And their chief role is caring for and protecting their children and helping them to become the best humans they can be. But they're unable to do that well and in an empowering manner unless they first take care of themselves. Thus, my coaching program will help my mama parents and other women focus on develop or refine their self-care skills. Let me say that again. My coaching program will focus on helping mama parents and other women focus on, develop, or refine their self-care skills in order to create, balance, and make informed choices that will help them to seek opportunities that create freedom and empowerment for themselves and ultimately their families. I'm still working on that piece in part. Okay. I've currently started to practice as I engage parents now, but I want to develop a solid and separate program with a curriculum, curriculum and accompanying workbook for my mama clients to progress through. I'll devote energy to this throughout the summer for launching in the new school year in the fall. And I'll have individual and group after school sessions to accommodate parent schedules and also to separate counseling and coaching. Maybe, maybe at some point down the road, I will have a practice that focuses on both coaching and counseling. Counseling, getting them to getting through them through some stuff, and coaching, getting them to some stuff. So I'm building this practice with the help of my Oya sisters, a group of women focused on educating youth to appreciate the wonder and breadth of nature. They each have areas in their life where they seek better balance and individually we've been able to begin shaping a few goals to work on. They have helped me to hone my skills and especially decide on a niche of sorts in which to focus my coaching. I still feel all over the place, but with concentrated effort and strategic talk, thought to um, given to the questions that were asked this week in um, our lessons um, about developing our own practice, um, I'll, I'll be able to get on the elevator and know absolutely what I need to say to people particularly women, in helping them to um, achieve balance for themselves and ultimately their families. Thank you.